Hey, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you a bit about CBD, and specifically CBD effects on my pets. I've been avoiding uh, speaking about CBD and reviewing CBD products, even though I've been using them for a few years, and specifically because of legal issues and legal hurdles, and fortunately a lot of those hurdles are finally being lifted. So why the hype, and why all these hurdles? Well, basically, CBD... Uh, comes from the marijuana plant and me being a layperson I'm going to explain things in simplicity and in layperson terminology So if we were to break it down marijuana plants has two main ingredients one would be THC Which pretty much gives you the high that uh, certain people seem to fear and then there's CBD which has none of those effects but has all the health benefits and which health benefits are those? There are a plethora of them already and more and more being brought to light on a daily basis because finally now doctors can actually study CBD and uh, really tweak it to bring out the best to not only benefit our, ourselves, but also benefit our furry loved ones. So let me get into a bit of detail on how CBD has really helped my pets. Now, my experience with uh, CBD all started with my dog, my Jack Russell Terrier, Manchester, who unfortunately passed away a few months ago. I had Manchester for 14 years, my best buddy, my best friend, whether we were on a trail, whether we were training for marathons, whatever uh, the event was or the occasion, Manchester was by my side. Unfortunately, in the last couple years of Manchester's life, he started experiencing extreme anxiety, uh, to put it lightly. So uh, trying to be the good parent that I wanted to be, I brought him to all sorts of vets and they were just recommending uh, pharmaceuticals. Unfortunately, basically the same prescription that they would give humans and uh, Prozac was recommended. And I just thought about, you know, this is my buddy. These are uh, his uh, golden years, so to speak. I want him to be able to enjoy it, not just sit there numb in the corner and, uh, you know, just basically not being the Manchester the Manchester always was. So I uh, started researching. Uh, came across uh, CBD that I was familiar with and uh, never really thought about it for pets. Started researching a little bit more. The information wasn't as readily available as, as it is now because of the uh, hurdles that I previously mentioned. And uh, found some good quality CBD, started supplementing Manchester, and basically his personality changed overnight. And he was getting that quality of life that I wasn't able to give him with anything else. And that's what I really want you to understand about CBD. It's not about extending a person or a pet's life. It's about giving them that quality of life while they're here so that they could actually enjoy it. Ironically, seven years ago today, Bruno, our pit bull, was rescued. We rescued him from a shelter in Newark, New Jersey. So happy uh, born again day to uh, Bruno because his life really did start the minute that he joined our family. And uh, to be honest, so did ours. Unfortunately, hasn't been a good year for Bruno. He was recently diagnosed with lymphoma, the T kind. So we had to start his uh, chemotherapy treatment. And while he was going through the treatment, especially the first couple ones, I noticed that he had a lot of discomfort, just didn't seem to be himself, seemed like he was in a bit of pain. So I set up a consultation with his doctor, his specialist, and uh, asked her about CBD, uh, what she thought. And uh, she basically told me that on the record, she couldn't say anything because uh, we're in New Jersey and the laws still aren't, uh, are still convoluted, right? And uh, pretty much written that way on purpose. Not her words, mine. But she did say off the record that she has heard nothing but amazing things about CBD uh, supplementation. And if that's something that's uh, on my radar, I should definitely do it. So now that I had gotten the off the record nod from uh, Bruno's doctor, I decided to start supplementing Bruno with CBD. Unfortunately, the company that I was utilizing uh, previously, their product is still good to go, but their customer support was lagging. I had uh, sent out an email asking for some advice uh, and guidance uh, with Bruno's treatment and unfortunately never received a reply. And I don't know about you, but especially with all this misinformation out there, if I can't find a company that's willing to provide me some guidance uh, with their product, then why am I going to support that company? So I began scouring the internet narrowed it down to Joy Organics. Uh, main reason was their um, CBD was not only good to go and great specifications and all that, but their customer support was excellent. I had fired out an email and almost instantly got a reply back. And those are the companies that I want to work with and grow with, especially when it comes to the health and uh, wellness of my dog. Now realizing that these uh, CBD products are not inexpensive, 
I went ahead and wanted to test the waters and started out with these treats from Joy Organics. I wanted to make sure that uh, Bruno liked them and also see how he reacted to them. And uh, not surprisingly at all, everything seemed to change by the second day that Bruno was getting his uh, CBD supplementation. He became much more active, jumping around, attacking his bone, wanting to play, enjoying his walks, uh, walking longer than he normally would walk or was walking previously uh, with his treatment. So all of these things, of course, you know, there's no way as uh, somebody that, you, that loves their pets and, uh, you know, consider them, of course, part of the family isn't going to react to something like this. I mean, you see it with your own eyes, you know, it's not a placebo effect. Please do keep in mind that not all CBD is created equal. Uh, especially now with all these legal hurdles being lifted. Uh, everybody's getting into the game. And uh, good for certain aspects. Prices might lower. Quality becomes more stringent. But you also have the fake stuff that's all out there and becoming very prominent. And the last thing that you want to do is uh, waste your money. And uh, even worse, experience false hopes. So keep that in mind. Make sure that uh, you do your research. And find somebody reputable like Joy Organics. As I stated previously, I'm certainly a layperson as far as explanation, but what I will do is put a lot of uh, detailed resources into my blog post and a lot more detail, so make sure you check that out on coachhelder.com. I will be reviewing more of the Joy Organics products, uh, both for Bruno and, of course, also for human consumption. So make sure you subscribe, stay posted uh, to those reviews because uh, they will be coming up soon. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a CBD line that'll benefit you, as well as your furry loved ones, definitely take a look at Joy Organics. They sold me with their quality and their customer support. And as you know by now, I will do anything to extend the quality of life for my baby boy, Bruno. Especially while we're fortunate enough to uh, still have him with us. This is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.